happened to stop by this vineyard this morning to take a look at the uh, how the bud break is going and noticing you know we have quite a few suckers coming out uh, looks like we got two shoots on most of our two budded spurs that we have and I can see little tiny clusters unfolding also doing a quick check for any insects uh, thrips or uh, leaf hoppers out here that usually plague very early in the season and noticing that the ground is starting to dry out from our cover crop that's in place and we'll start uh, start the mowing operation fairly quick this week and uh, so just kind of doing a general surveillance of the vineyard of uh, things that need to be done and uh, stopping every once in a while to take off a few unwanted shoots or suckering some of the stuff that we don't need before the crew gets here probably in another couple of weeks at the rate these vines are coming out Again, you can see on these younger vines that are in an established vineyard that we'll go ahead and bury some used uh, or recycle some drip tubing that's about two feet long and down about 18 inches and then drop our spaghetti tubes right on in there. So when we do, in fact, irrigate or fertigate, we know that the water is getting pretty instantaneously to the root system versus having to wet a soil profile before it gets to that root system. So it's just a measure of making sure that we can get these vines established fairly quick and fill out the trellis as they're going to compete with the adjacent vines that are much larger, much more vigorous and well established. Again, I kind of also survey the soil here below our vines and I see we've got a great uh, weed management program going on. Virtually there's no weeds growing in the area that's going to directly impact the vines. Uh, we have our natural cover crop and our planted cover crops here in the vine row middles that we're going to let go to seed before we do our mowing. And plus these grasses are actually a sponge. They're helping to absorb the extra moisture in the upper foot or so from having the sprinklers on this week with the frost protection that has been going on. So again, it's a benefit to the soil profile, to the texture, and the overall biomass that I'm going to incorporate by just mowing a couple of times through the growing season. You know, this was pruned to essentially a two bud spur, and we have our two shoots coming out of our bud locations here. Right down in here, you can see there's formation of two clusters. This is a small, very small cluster at the tip of the pen, and here's a second cluster right here, and that's something that is very positive that we want to see. As I survey the vineyards, one of the things I notice in a lot of vines is the fact that we have two shoots emerging from the same bud, i.e. this is the primary shoot coming here with the secondary one, that's why it's smaller, right behind it and coming out of the same bud location. So during the suckering operation, what we want to accomplish is the fact to have one shoot per spur per bud location. Another example would be right here on this spur. The primary shoot is a little bit ahead of the secondary and these would come out and just allow one to grow in that uh, position. It's a little bit of a labor-intensive operation, but what that helps us help accomplish in the future is the fact that we will have a very strong shoot or cane next fall or winter to prune to. If we leave two or three out of this bud location, then they're all going to share that amount of energy and be slightly smaller in diameter. So to ensure that we have a good size wood for our next pruning season, we want to just limit us to one shoot per bud location.